Bet365 is an A-rated book on SBR. Click on their logo to discover why. Hello and welcome to World Sports Weekly. I'm your host, Natalie Rydstrom. Joining us now is Richard O'Hagan, sports writer and regular contributor to SBR Forum to discuss the betting value for the individual World Cup teams. Richard, welcome to the show today. Hi, Natalie. It's great to be with you. Now, Switzerland can count their blessings on being a seeded team this tournament. I, for one, didn't expect the Swiss to be seeded over a team such as France, who are also in Group E. Now, let, let's talk the pros and cons of the Swiss team. How do you see them faring? I can see them going pretty well, actually, Natalie. I think that they're a much underrated side. They've done well in tournaments recently. You look back to 2010, they were the only team to beat Spain in that World Cup tournament. So they're a good, solid side. Not big on, on famous players, recognisable names, but they turn in a good performance every time out. And I think that's going to be important this time around. So I can see them doing reasonably well. I can certainly see them making it through to the second round. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I mentioned France there. It's very likely that they will win Group E. How might that affect Switzerland in the next round? Well, well I suppose the downside to not going through in first place in this group is that you end up with Argentina in the second round because Argentina are going to win Group F. There's no question about that. However, if the Swiss can actually push their way to the front of this group and do well, particularly if they do well against France, then I can easily see them actually making it all the way through to the quarterfinals here. So I think it very, very much depends upon how well they play in those group stages. OK. And can you see uh, Fran France going through above Switzerland in this group? Yes, it's a, it's a real toss-up, Natalie. And it depends which version of France turns up. Will it be the one in from 2006 who got all the way to the final? Or will it be the 2002-2010 side who just flopped horribly once they got to the final stages. So very, very interesting to watch how France perform. That's going to have a big impact on Switzerland's future, no matter what happens. OK. Now, you mentioned that you can see Switzerland making it through all, all the way to the quarterfinals. Um, and, you know, that's a bet, obviously, that we can make on that. Are there any other bet markets we should keep an eye on? I think the, the other one to really keep an eye on, Natalie, is the total number of points that Switzerland score. Because at the moment, for some reason, you can get really good odds on them scoring seven points. And I can see that happening. I can see them winning against the other two teams in this group and then drawing against France. That gives you seven points. And there's pretty strong odds out there at around about 6.5. So I'd be looking to back that right now. And that's exactly seven points and it's, it's not over seven or over. No, that, that, that's, the, that's in the exact points market, which always will give you better odds anyway. Mm -hmm. But it's hard to see Switzerland not coming out with seven points from this group. OK. And uh, what's, the, what's the price on that you've got? Around about 6.5. 6.5. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Richard O'Hagan, thank you for joining us. You're welcome, Natalie.